Hello, today we continue acceptance of the equipment we got delivered yesterday and we will conduct the received inspection of those boxes we haven't unpacked yet. We're getting started. Now we're opening the box. Looking at what we have here. The power supply cable. USB cable. We're checking that all plug connections are OK and continue to unpack. Here we have something more interesting. This is a controller designed for controlling the brake machine. This is the software for it. This is the calibration certificate. We'll deal with this documents later and this is the controller itself. Now our task is to inspect it to make sure there is no chipping on the body. All the connections are intact, the contacts are not crimped. Then we will check the serial numbers and stamps if there are any. Let's have a look here. This is the calibration label. It seems that's all. We're checking what we have here. The buttons sound normal, I think. We're checking it from this side. It's even and clean, no chipping on the angles, everything is fine. It's more interesting here. These are the plug connections for the new brake, for the second brake. Everything is great. This is the serial number. Everything is fine, the model name is here too. I can't see any external damage. Let's look further. It's clean here too. And at the bottom, everything is ok, I suppose. Now we should check the completeness according to the documents. We're checking what we have here. We have already inspected the machine. This is the controller one item. We continue further. This is apparently a coupling for connecting the control object that is our motor to the load machine shift. The packaging is interesting in my opinion. It's just right. It's heavy, so the packaging protects it from damage. This is what the coupling is like. It's designed for a shift with two spleen connection. These are the two grooves. Because we have really high torques. And without the splints, we can hold the shift. We need to try it on and see if it fits, because as you know, things happen. We're taking it in the documents too. We have accepted the machine itself. The power supply units too, the software we have opened it, we have accepted everything, so we can finish the received inspection now. And I'm signing the documents, confirming that we have accepted the equipment and it's complete and we are ok with it. So we're finishing the acceptance of the equipment. I have a question for the viewers. What are we going to do next? Send your comments. I will give you the answer in the next video. Good luck!